Okay, so a good question was asked that why we give amiodarone infusion in two phases, like uh, we give 60 milligram per hour for the first six hours and then followed by 30 milligram for per hour for 18 hours. Means we give one milligram per minute for six hours, then 0.5 milligram per minute for 18 hours. Why can't we give this total 900 milligram over a period of 24 hours, 37.5 milligram uh, per hour infusion? why we need to divide these infusions in two phases. So this is a very good question. So the answer to this is because of the very large volume of distribution of amidaron. So what happens if I need to explain you, we can divide the body into three compartments. One is your central compartment, which is your intravascular space. Third is, uh, second is your highly perfused uh, compartment, which is the peripheral compartment like myocardium, liver, spleen, sort of things. Third is the deep compartment like adipose tissues, which are there. Now, because of the very large volume of distribution of amidron, the moment you give it, it gets rapidly diffused from central to peripheral to the uh, deep compartment adipose tissue. So it will not achieve the therapeutic level, which is required at the myocardium to do that. So suppose if we give the infusion 60 milligram per hour and uh, 30 milligram per hour, which is 900 milligram in the 24 hours, if we give the infusion as 37.5 milligram per hour total as a, in a single uh, infusion rate, it will not achieve that therapeutic level at the myocardium, which is required. So first we need to load it with 60 milligram per hour and then we provide a maintenance infusion so that the drug remain in the myocardium uh, compartment for a longer period of time. Now, why we cannot give a bolus immediately and then followed by a longer infusion time? We can give the six, uh, 600, uh, give this uh, 360 milligram stat and then followed by the infusion. The reason is large doses of amiodarone can cause uh, uh, bradycardia and hypotension, which is which can be detrimental to the patient, which can be risky. So we need to make a balance because of its large volume of distribution, we need to provide a loading dose which is not harmful and then to, we need to provide a maintenance dose which makes the drug remain in a sufficient concentration at the myocardium level. So this is very unique property of amidaron, very large volume of distribution as well as it has a very longer half-life. So this is the reason why we give it. I hope this clarifies. Still, if you have any doubt, you can ask in the comments and thank you for asking and do read more about it. Thank you.